Hey folks, I'm at my daughter's dance practice. Normally there isn't a whole lot I can do while she's in there. And so I thought I would get you out a video. So what I'm going to go over is my podcast listening list. I'm subscribed to, last I checked, about 85 different podcasts. And I'll let you know what those are. Um, since there's so many of them and I don't want this to be really long, I'm going to try and keep it to less than 15 seconds for each podcast, but I'll tell you what it is and I'll tell you a little bit about it. So because this is such an extensive list and we all have a limited amount of time, um, I actually learned to listen to my podcast at two times speed. Now, I don't know if any of you have tried doing that. You can even watch YouTube videos at two times speed like this one, but when I first started listening to podcasts, it was, shoot, it must have been 10 years ago when I first started listening to podcasts. And I was mostly listening to science and news podcasts. And uh, a couple of years ago, I decided to start listening to a lot of different types of podcasts, more educational podcasts. It really expanded my list. And when I expanded my list, I realized I didn't quite have enough time to get through all these podcasts that I wanted to listen to because I just want to devour this information. So I tried two times speed and I couldn't understand a word being said. So I ended up trying one and a half times speed and I could understand the words being said there. So I, I listened at one and a half times speed and I did that for about three months. And then I decided to just on a whim, give it a shot to listen to the two times speed again. And at that time, wouldn't you know it, I could understand what they're saying now. So I ended up switching to two times speed and now I listen to everything at two times speed. I usually try and watch my YouTube videos at two times speed. Um, and now I can understand everything that they say. So it's, it's pretty neat, but, uh, yeah, give it a shot. Um, you might find it difficult, and uh, if that's the case, like I say, drop back down to one and a half times speed, and uh, you should be able to get a grasp there, and you end up getting used to it. So when I'm listening at two times speed, if I end up cutting it back to normal speed, if there's something that's said that I can't quite understand because they might speak a little bit too fast or it might be mumbled, I have to slow it down, it ends up sounding like they're in slow motion at that point, which is it's pretty interesting to um, to hear people speaking at a normal speed, but in my ears, it sounds slow motion. Um, but the, the real interesting part of that is, is like in normal conversation with people, it doesn't sound like it's in slow motion. It's only when I'm listening at two times speed and then I drop it back down. So kind of weird, but interesting. So let's get into the list. This is my list of currently subscribed podcasts. I'm going to try and go through them pretty quickly. I'll put a picture up of what it looks like. So if you want to find it and add it to your podcast list, you can do that. Um, but because the list is so extensive, I'm, I'm not going to put a link of these podcasts in the show notes. So if you have a question about any particular one, feel free to ask me questions in the comment section below. So let's get into it. Number one. Afford Anything with Paula Pant. This one is a great podcast that answers a lot of questions from real estate investing to stock market investing and finance. Really a great, great show. Two, Radical Personal Finance. Again, it's this is along the same lines of Afford Anything. Joshua Sheets does an excellent job of really getting into detail on so many different uh, so many different items beyond personal finance as well. So he's got a, uh, he's not very old. He's younger than I am, but his life experience in the area of personal finance and all kinds of other things is immense. So that one's a really good one to listen to also. Three, Choose FI. That's the um, financial independence is what FI stands for. And that is a great movement. That podcast goes through so many different things like um, how to get a better job, how to get the most money out of your job, how to invest um, 
really anything that has to do with finance, if it touches on that, they probably have a podcast on it. It's a great one. Number four, Two Frugal Dudes. These guys uh, talk about personal finance as well in the range of being frugal, not necessarily um, along the same lines of a lot of other financial podcasts where it's at the other end where they talk about having a lot of money. This one is how to make do with less money, but they really go through a wide variety as well. Number five, Get Rich Education. This is a real estate investing podcast. A lot of good information there as far as, um, well, all of the definitions for words that have to do with real estate investing, they go through that. It goes through different areas throughout the country that you could invest in. It really touches on all kinds of things, and it's a pretty neat podcast. Number six, DIY Money. This one is a question and answer podcast having to do with personal finance. Um, they often have a lot of really good questions that I like to hear about. Number seven, Cash Flow Ninja. That one has to do with mostly real estate investing, but also other finance. He has a lot of guests on there that talk about a wide variety of things. They even touch on infinite banking and those types of things. Number eight, Spent the Rent. This is a local podcast, local to Eugene Springfield here in Oregon. And Oregon Cash Flow Pro is a sponsor of this podcast. Great podcast. Good one to listen to. It That one has guests on a wide variety of subject from music, the local music scene, um, to local businesses and politics. Number nine, cash flow diary. That one's a good one on real estate. M lately, it's been focused on short-term rentals, uh, but a lot of good information on that and a lot of good interviews from people as well. Number 10, the best ever real estate investing advice. This one's a great one having to do with real estate investing. It really talks about every single thing you can think of. It's a daily podcast and really any, any area of real estate investing. It does not leave it untouched. Um, excellent podcast. Number 11, Money Ripples. This is a more personal finance oriented, really touches on a lot of different personal finance things, does question and answers, and it's just a good source for information. Number 12, Bigger Pockets Business. Bigger Pockets, it's a big real estate investing site. Um, and this podcast, it interviews business owners. So it's a really good angle to hear from folks who own businesses. And it, and it is not just real estate oriented. It's really any type of business, but there's a lot of good information that you can get out of that one. Number 13, Bigger Pockets Money. This one is more the Bigger Pockets Financial Independence podcast. So this one, they talk about a lot of the same things that I hear from a lot of the other financial independence, the fire movement podcasts that I listen to. Number 14, Bigger Pockets Real Estate. This one is mostly focused, well, this one is focused on real estate in particular. A lot of good information there, um, especially around the Burr strategy, buy, rehab, rent, and refinance method, uh, along with house hacking and everything associated with house hacking. That is a great source for that. Number 15, the land of possibilities. This one is life insurance focused and specifically infinite banking focused. Yeah, I really get a lot of good nuggets from all the podcasts surrounding infinite banking as far as uh, how to use it and how to talk about it. Number 16, the real estate guys. This podcast is more like a radio show. It has a lot of good real estate information along with some other things, but they tend to have people on where they do interviews with. And, you know, you can get some good nuggets from that one as well. 17, Scott Sigler. This is a writer and uh, he basically does... Um, yeah, they're kind of like horror stories, but uh, I guess more thriller, I would say. He reads his books on his podcast, and they're pretty interesting. 18, This American Life. That one's a great podcast that delves into all different kinds of things surrounding American life, and uh, they really do it in a way that's uh, compelling to listen to. That is one of my one of my favorite podcasts. Number 19, the Retirement and IRA Show. This one's a good one for retirement information and specifically uh, retirement vehicles. So things like 
the IRA and the 401k. And they, they mostly do um, question and answers, but they also will just pick a topic and delve into that too. So it's a really good podcast for getting uh, details on financial information. Number 20, the Cardone Zone. So this is a Grant Cardone. He is a real estate investment guy and, you know, his podcast goes into quite a few different things. It mostly is um, kind of a pump him up podcast, but he does, but it does a good job of getting your blood flowing and, and getting you in the mood to take action when it comes to uh, investing in real estate. Number 21, the one thing. This one has to do with um, finding the one thing that you need to focus on. It's geared towards helping people just do better in their life, helping them schedule things better and just be more successful. Number 22, apartment building investing with Michael Blanc. Uh, That one's a good one as far as commercial real estate and apartment building investing. He interviews a lot of folks in that arena and you can just get a lot of good insight. 23, Planet Money. This is an economic podcast where they just go over all kinds of different uh, economic topics that affect life here in the U.S. Number 24, Dollars and Nonsense. This is a life insurance focused podcast that has to do with infinite banking. Number 25, The Money Advantage. Another life insurance focused infinite bank type. They also touch on real estate investing as well. Number 26, The High Return Real Estate Show. This is a show put on by folks that do turnkey real estate investing. Number 27, The Insurance Guys. This one talks about all the other kinds of insurance besides life insurance. They touch on that a couple of times, but for the most part, it's just about um, running an insurance agency and other insurance topics, but it's a really good motivator. The hosts of that are really great and fun to listen to. Number 28, Wheelbarrow Profits. This is a daily, this is a daily podcast as well, and they go over everything that has to do with real estate, um, commercial, apartment, and single family residential. Number 29, The Indicator. This is an economics podcast and they talk about specific indicators within our economy and what it might mean. Number 30, Macro and Cheese. This one is an economics podcast geared toward modern monetary theory. Number 31, The TED Radio Hour. This is basically TED Talks, but designed for the radio. A lot of really great information that comes across that pulled right from TED Talks. And they dig a little deeper and do some interviews with the TED speakers. Number 32, Not Your Average Financial Podcast. This one is another insurance infinite bank oriented podcast. Number 33, Banking with Life. Again, another insurance infinite banking related podcast. Number 34, Popcorn Finance. This is a personal finance podcast that meant that is meant to get you the information you need in just a few minutes. 35, Cash Flow Guys. This is a real estate investing podcast. A lot of good information on that one. It really runs the gamut from single family residential to apartments and self storage and mobile homes. Number 36, NPR Politics. I think that's pretty self explanatory. Number 37, Real Estate Investing Mastery. This one is a great podcast around real estate investing, and it really gets into doing lease to own and sandwich leases and wholesaling. Uh, Really, really a great podcast when it comes to not your traditional type of real estate sales and how to structure those. Number 38, The Benjamin Dixon Show. That's a politics podcast that I enjoy. Number 39, The Money Guy. This one is personal finance. Number 40, Wealth Ability. This is a podcast about saving on taxes. 41, The Wealth Ability for CPAs. So I listened to that one as well. That one's geared toward CPAs so that they know how to better take care of their clients who are looking for tax savings. Number 42, Real Estate Investing for Cash Flow. That one's pretty self-explanatory. It's it's about exactly what it says. Number 43, Simply Explaining Insurance. This one's a good short podcast on all types of different things that have to do with insurance, not just life insurance. 
Number 44, spot on insurance. This is another podcast that has to do with the overall insurance world. Number 45, the annuity sales coach. This podcast is focused specifically on annuities and how to overcome objections, um, how to present them, and why they're a good option for some folks. Number 46, Better Wealth Podcast with Caleb Williams. This one's another infinite banking type podcast and a lot of good information on that one. Number 47, Pitchfork Economics. It's another economics podcast. Number 48, Wealth Without Wall Street. This one is a life insurance infinite bank type podcast, but they also go into all kinds of other types of investing outside of Wall Street. Number 49, Economic Update with Richard Wolf. Another good economics podcast. Number 50, Fire Drill. This is uh, fire as in financial independence and retire early. It's a good personal finance podcast geared toward a lot of side hustles. Number 51, Trump Inc. It's an investigative podcast about Trump and all of his business dealings. Number 52, Radio Lab. Radio Lab makes awesome podcasts that tell just wonderful, beautiful stories, and they really dig into some issues, um, such a wide variety of issues that they dig into. Uh, really enjoy that podcast. Number 53, World Story of the Day. This is news from around the world, just a short story each day about news all around the world. Number 54, Profit Boss Radio. This is a female-focused personal finance podcast. Number 55, Financial Advisor Success. This is a podcast from a financial advisor's perspective and usually interviews um, financial advisor business owners. Number 56, The Real Estate CPA. This is um, accounting-focused podcast surrounding real estate and real estate investing. Number 57, The Banking Breakdown. This is about designing infinite banking type policies and everything else associated with those. Number 58, passive real estate investing. That one has to do with real estate investing in a more passive manner, as the name implies. Number 59, the FI show. That's financial independence. is another fire movement type podcast. A lot of good information around personal finance on that one. Number 60, commercial real estate. That one is specifically focused on apartment buildings and other types of commercial investing, but mostly apartment buildings. Number 61, real estate investing for women. I know I'm not a woman, but I do get a lot of good information out of that podcast and I enjoy listening to it. Number 62, multifamily real estate investing. This one is a great one that really goes into the definitions of commercial real estate investing and apartment investing along with a lot of other details that I just don't get from some other podcasts. Number 63, The Wealth Formula. And this one goes into a lot of different things, but um, infinite banking type pol insurance policies is one of those, as well as Bitcoin. Is The guy likes to talk about Bitcoin quite a bit. Number 64, The David Duford Show. That one is insurance-based. It's more final expense and mortgage protection type of insurance. Number 65, Lifetime Cash Flow Through Real Estate. That one's pretty self-explanatory, just another real estate investing podcast. Number 66, Cash Flow Investing Secrets. This one is a shorter podcast from the same person who does Cash Flow Ninja, and it just focuses on particular topics surrounding cash flow. Number 67, The Cash Flow Academy. This one's a good personal finance podcast. 68, Cash Flow Dad Life. This one focuses more on... Um, real estate investing and cash flow along with real estate investing. Number 69, bad with money. Contrary to the name of the title, it actually goes through a lot of really interesting personal finance topics. Number 70, Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. These are really long, epic podcasts that really dive deep into history. Um, really great. I definitely recommend to listen if you like history. Number 71, Dan Carlin's Common Sense. This is more current events. Same guy that does hardcore history, but you get um, current events in politics. Number 72, The Mad Scientist. 
That is a financial independence podcast. Number 73, Serial. This one's an investigative uh, mystery type podcast. Really intriguing. Number 74, S-Town. This one is from the same people who do Serial, and it's just another type of investigative storytelling podcast. Number 75, The Dream. This one deals with multi-level marketing and the, the scams surrounding that. Pretty interesting. Number 76, True Wealth. This one is financial podcast, but also um, delves into how to be wealthy beyond just financially. Number 77, Capitalism Hits Home. This is a podcast that talks about how capitalism affects life around us. Number 78, The Fairer Sense. This is a female-focused podcast that delves into personal finance. A lot of good information there. Number 79, That Annuity Show. As it implies, this one deals with annuities. Number 80, Hard Money Bankers. This is a podcast from people who lend out hard money and they give out information, not just about that, but also um, they talk about the value of hard money and instances that you can use it for real estate investing. Number 81, the Insurance Pro Blog. This one is a great podcast about infinite banking concept type of insurance. They also talk about um, index universal life types of policies and all kinds of other things that have to do with life insurance and life insurance policies. Number 82, the future of everything. And this one has to do with technology, how it affects us and what we can expect of technology in the near future. Number 83, Wealth Talk. This is a podcast around the infinite banking concept. Number 84, Drilled. This is a podcast about climate change and the oil industry and, and all the things surrounding that. It's a really good investigative type podcast. Number 85, Hear the Burn. This is a podcast about the Bernie Sanders presidential campaign. Pretty interesting stuff. Number 86, the 2020 election ride home. This has to do with the 2020 presidential election. And number 87, the Iowa Starting Line podcast. This has to do with presidential politics surrounding Iowa. So that's it. That's all the podcasts that I'm currently subscribed to. Thanks for sticking around. Hopefully you'll find something that intrigues you and expand your horizons on what you listen to on your podcast. Thanks for listening. If you find value, give me a like and a subscribe and we'll talk with you later.